Uh, BRG time zone displays can be configured in many ways. The most common method is the use of buttons on the clock or an infrared remote. The method used will depend on the options installed in your clock. In this video we will use the infrared remote to configure time zones. The process is no different if programming is done using the buttons on the clock. The infrared remote just has more buttons. The infrared remote can be quickly checked to avoid some common problems. Make sure the batteries are installed correctly. And here we can see on the left the uh, positive is up, on the right the positive is down. Even though you may see springs at the bottom, the positive on the right still goes against the spring. Also, we have the display selection buttons at the top. This is for selecting different infrared channels. Uh, this is a pretty common one here. Um, sometimes you may have uh, the number 2 pressed or the number 3 pressed, when really your clock needs for the number 1 to be pressed. And then if you're still not certain if the remote is working, you can just aim it at a camera. A lot of most uh, smartphones have cameras now. And I'm not I'm not seeing it on this one right now, but on your on your camera phone you should be able to see that. Configuration changes are done in the mode menu system. In this video we will configure two time zones using the mode menu system. To enter the mode menu, uh, press and hold the mode button. The first display will be begin to flash either 1111 or 2222. Two, two, two. As soon as the flashing stops and displays a solid 1111 or 2222, two, 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 release the mode button. Continuing the hold mode button after the flashing has stopped will activate special modes with undesirable results. After releasing the mode menu button at the right time, a 1 will appear on the display. The up button can be used to advance to different modes. To look at the value programmed in a particular mode, press the mode menu button one time. And here you can see it's displaying the current uh, month and day. I press mode again, it will exit. And I can go up to mode 2. And that's the current year, 2016. Mode 21 is used for setting the time zone offset. <coughs> the offset is the number of hours added or subtracted from Zulu time. Keep in mind that the BRG time zone display only keeps track of one time. Every time it displays is based off of that time and adding or subtracting the number of hours specified in Mode 21. Mode 24 is used to select the right daylight savings rule for each time zone. Some time zones may require the use of additional modes to specify the beginning and ending dates for daylight savings. By default, BRG time zone displays are already configured with the correct daylight savings rule for the United States. Mode 33 can be used to advance a time zone in 15 minute increments. There are some locations around the world that do not have a full hour offset such as Afghanistan. Afghanistan is four and a half hours ahead of Zulu time. Mode 51-1 is where alpha labels are programmed. Alpha labels are programmed by selecting the position then specifying the ASCII code that you need for that position. It's very important to write down all necessary settings before you begin programming your clock, especially your alpha character programming. Alpha programming may appear to be complicated, but it's very easy once you see how it's done in this video. Alright, so now we'll go ahead and we'll program some time zones. I'll press up on the remote and go to 21. Uh, but right now I'm not in the mode menu. I need to get it back to the mode menu. All 
right now I'll press up and go to 21. I'll press the move menu button one time and release. An extra one shows up on the display. This is the second level menu. In this case one means time zone number one. So we're changing the time zone offset mode 21 for time zone number one. So currently we can see that's set to negative six. I'll move this down to, I'm sorry, I'll press up and go to zero. So we're setting, we're going to set zone one up for Zulu time. So zero would mean no time zone offset. Now I'll press up and go to two. This means I'm changing the time zone offset for time zone number two. And load menu one time. See so yeah, that's currently at negative seven. <clears throat> time zone number two I'll set for Eastern time. So we'll go up to negative five and then load menu one time. To uh, exit the second level menu that we see here. Uh, with the extra two, and we'll just press down, and we see that disappear. Now we're at the top level menu again. Now we'll press up and go to 24. Press the mode button one time, and this one works the same way as the uh, as mode 21. <clears throat> so I'm still on a second level menu here, and the one means time zone number one. But 24 is for daylight savings. So I'll press mode menu one time. And that's currently set to 14. On your newer clocks, you want this to be set to 10. That would be, uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Zulu time would be zero. No time, no uh, daylight savings. Now we'll go up to 2. We were setting that one for Eastern, so daylight. this one would have daylight savings. And there, um, on older clocks, 14 would be valid. On newer clocks, we want that to be set to 10. And I'll mode menu one time to confirm. And I'll press down two times. That exits the second level menu. Now I'm back at the top level. Uh, now I'll press up and go to 33. Now 33 is where we can set an additional 15 minute uh, offset. Now in the case of both Zulu and Eastern that wouldn't apply. So we'll just check these real quick. That's already zero. That means no additional offset. And the same for uh, time zone number two. We'll press down two times. That ex exits the second level menu. Now we'll go up to uh, we'll go up to mode 51. And mode menu one time. Yeah, 51-1 is where we'll uh, program the alphas. Now in this case, this is different. Even though I am on a second level menu. Um, the second level menu that doesn't refer to uh, different time zones. So all of my alpha programming will be done in 51-1. And the, uh, the main thing to remember here, um, th there are ASCII charts that you can download, uh, but the main thing to remember is uh, ASCII code 32, which is a blank space, and ASCII code 65. Uh, that is where the uppercase alphabet begins. Now, now you see if I press up, the number changes, and you also see the flashing cursor change. So I'm going to go up to position 4, and I'll press mode menu one time. And we'll advance this up to a Z. See there at 65, you can see the A appears, so this is all upper, uppercase alphabet.
right there. And then load menu one time to confirm. Now we'll move up to position five. And we'll change that to a U. Position 6, we'll go up to L. And then we need another U. Alright, so we've got Zulu spelled out. Now in this case, it, um, all of the alphas were already blank. And if you needed to change these, however, you can see that's at 32 right now. If I just return it to 32, that'll be a blank space. Okay, so this right here, number 10, that would be the last character on this alpha strip. When I go up to 11, we'll see, you'll see it jump over. It goes over to the second alpha strip. So this will be for time zone number two. And I'll go up to position 12. I'll advance this up to 69. And I'll go to 65. Just always remember, 65 is where it begins. I'll go to 83. Now we'll go to 84. And we'll do 69 again. Go to 82 and now 78. <clears throat> so, right now I'm all done. My alphas are programmed, but I need to get out of this menu. So I'll go down, I'll take it all the way back down to 1, and now when I press down one more time, I'll exit this menu, and we'll see it go back to 51-1. Now I can press down one more time, and now I'm out of the second level menu, and now I'm at the top level at 51. Now I'll go down, I'm going to take it all the way down to 1. And when I press down and go to zero, it's going to exit the mode menu. And we'll see the times come back. Now, when exiting the mode menu, programming is saved. I can power down the clock and power it back up, and my settings will be remembered. But if I make more changes and need to restore to this point, I can't do it unless I save my settings using Special Mode 4. Using Special Mode 4 is highly recommended. To access special modes, hold in the mode menu button and continue holding until the correct special mode is displayed. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the mode menu button. But now I'm not going to release when it goes solid. I'm going to continue to hold it. When it gets up to 4, I'll release. And then 
and timer control one time. Okay, now that it is uh, reset and going back to the time, everything is safe. So I do have a good restore point now. So in this case, if I uh, did more programming and I think that I possibly messed something up, it's no problem. I could do a special mode 3 and it would restore to the point that it is now. Additional documentation can be downloaded from our website, www.brgprecision.com. Click on support and then documentation. Programming manuals and time zone programming guides are available. If you require more help with programming your BRG time zone clock, please contact our technical support department by email at support at brgproducts.com or by telephone at 1-800-295-0220. Located in the West End Business Park in Derby, Kansas, BRG would like to thank you for watching this video. If you'd like more information, please give us a call at 1-800-295-0220. International customers can reach us at 316-788-2000. For more information, visit brgprecision.com, GSA Advantage, or fedmall.gov.